Good morning, true crime junkies. How we doing? It is 2023, January 1st. Happy New Year. Hope you guys stayed safe and all that. But, uh, all right. <clears throat> so I'm going to be doing another video. We're going to be looking at some body cam footage. Um, apparently there was a police officer arrested back on January 9th for um, looking at all this, uh, you know, footage of of these murders uh, without permission. Or, it's a whole deep dive. It's a, it's it's really uh, interesting. Uh, truth and transparency. To, uh, their video. That's that's what I'm gonna be uh, reacting to and watching my and giving my opinion on in this video. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna see. Uh, there's some, there's some fishy stuff going on. So we're we're gonna check it out. So buckle up. Hit that like and subscribe button. That notification bell. And uh, here we go. So this is back in August. This is uh, police footage from August. The music definitely sounds loud as hell. Tons of cars. University of Idaho kickoff party and parties. That's why. To the 2022 Next time, we'll definitely check with the neighbors. Yeah. Okay, so spend the money on beer instead, not on tickets. Yeah. Yeah. Keep the music down, have a good party, make sure everyone's over 21. Yeah. If we do have to come back out here, you two guys are each getting tickets. Okay. Got it? I understand. So it's on the rest of you to make sure the party sure. stays down. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah, right. have a good one. Thank you. Yeah, Thank take you. care, guys. Enjoy the party. Yeah. Thank you. Have a good one. The off-campus frat house party was warned and fist pumped by Moscow Police Department. Yeah, you saw the... F it's not a fist pump, it's a fist bump. But, yeah. The police came out due to a noise complaint at 5... 24 p.m. for the noise actually coming from 1122 King Avenue. That's a typo. There was 1122 is is Matt was was where the everybody was killed at. No noise complaints called in to 1122. Yeah, so the, the, what she's saying is there was a noise complaint called in, but not. Not for this house. It was a different house. How's it going, guys? Look, and you can see the ladder laying down right there. You see it? And this is way back when. The ladder was always there. But... Remember in that other video, the ladder was standing up on the side. So somebody moved the ladder from that position to having it stand up and leaning against the house. So yeah, somebody somebody was using that. It makes you think, right? Did did he put it up against that deck right there? You know? Casey, I'm just gonna loop around up here. Why is he going around there for a noise complaint, you know? Hey there.
There was no call from for the 1122 King Road address for the noise complaint. Officers observed the house and the noise from when they visited that previous house there, the off-campus Fred house, just minutes before. Hey there. Look, there's there's Hunter with his zip ties, but there was no noise complaint, and they weren't. They, it sounds like they weren't having a big party at this house, you know. So if they were playing drinking games, which was apparently what the zip ties were for, they weren't being loud about it, right? And there wasn't a lot of people there, you know, to be playing, you know, this game. But look at him, he's coming out with his zip ties on to meet the police. Why not take him off? This is weird, man. Is this your place, ma'am? Yes. Okay, would you mind going and getting somebody who's placed this? That's, that's the killer, Brian Koberger. Moves to Washington and begins school in August of 2022. same month the noise came. so that's kind of about weird right you remember the noise complaints weren't coming from this house so somebody must have I don't know let's let's get into it where she, she I just she that's a typo I, uh, that says stats. It's supposed, I think it's supposed to say states uh, that she is a resident of 1122 King. Hey there. How are you? So here comes Kaylee. Good, how are you? Good, is this your place? Yeah. Perfect, you know why we're here? Um, I assume noise. noise. Kaylee, obviously, uh, looks like her and Hunter were playing this game where they're zip tied together and um, they're probably having a sexual relationship, right? We know Kaylee has had a relationship with both Jax and this Hunter. Yeah. yeah. Big speaker right there. Yeah. Nothing against having a party. Once neighbors start calling in, then we have an issue. Fair. Uh, you go to school? Uh, yeah. Okay, what year? Senior. Senior, okay. So I'll tell you the same thing I told them. You probably know the drill, right? Actually, no. Oh, okay. So usually, at least for me, I'll give you a verbal warning. Okay. Uh, once I have neighbors calling in, your music's too loud, you're disturbing the peace. Yeah. yeah. Once the neighbors call in, you're disturbing the peace. The neighbors didn't call in. Check it out right here. There's your proof. It was observed. Observed, not call. Okay. Let's see where she's going with this. August 21st, 2022, Moscow, Idaho. Brian Kohlberger is pulled over in a... Eventually given a ticket for not wearing a seatbelt. Eventually given a ticket for a seatbelt violation. What was Brian initially pulled over for, though? What car was Brian driving when he was pulled over? True the tr Still waiting for the body cam footage from Brian's encounter. Okay, so she must have requested his body cam, and for some reason, she's still waiting. Transparency is still waiting for the body cam footage from that stop. What brought Brian to Washington State University? August 22nd, 2022, University of Idaho. I want to give a shout out to you, Shannon. Uh, she's the one that one, uh, re sent me this uh, video to react to. So thanks, Shannon.
the classes begin. Again, Brian just recently moved into his campus apartment for grad students and for families on Washington State's campus. Brian did all of his schooling prior to this in his home in the state of Pennsylvania. This will be the first time that Brian left his hometown of PA. Look how easy you could look at, you can see in the windows with the, with no blinds, you know. I mean, look, you can see it's either Kaylee or Maddie right there or one of the roommates. And you, you, you could probably see that from, far, you know, three, four hundred yards away, man. That's a lot of visits, you know. So what's that? At least four visits. Two in August, two in September by now. and Zena speaking with Moscow police and, and being warned for the noise tickets being issued on the next visit. Uh-oh, we're gonna get a ticket for a noise complaint. <laughs> uh, pro probably a $50 ticket. Uh-oh. Big trouble. You're in big trouble, mister. <laughs> Like, why don't the cops have something better to do, you know? Especially if there's no neighbors calling this in, you know? <laughs> Which, we just had proof of it. it. It's just the cops saying they observed it, you know? Obviously, they didn't have anything better to do. Second time, I need, one, I need somebody to come to the door. Right, and listen to, the, to that tone, man. I hate someone to come to the door. I, I used to hate when cops acted like that, man. Music stays off. Party's over. See? Oh, sorry. Well, let's hope you guys can read. <laughs> Little would anyone know, except for the person who planned these horrific murders, that these last weeks would be the last for Zanny, Maddie, Kaylee, and Ethan. Megan Mogan? Ma or Ma uh, Mogan, yeah. Madison Mogan, yeah. Madison Mogan. Okay, she does look Sorry, here. we. She is at the club. She's 21. I'm assuming that's uh, Xana. I'm just going to bed. I have a couple of friends over, but this is my ID. Have you talked to Maddie tonight? Yes, I have. Well, She's at the. Why are they so interested in Maddie? She's not even there, you know? What's the big deal? Why? I, I, I don't understand that. Corner club. Okay. Did she did she tell you anything about anything that happened earlier in my And they keep asking about her. Like she's not there. That... Yeah, that was Anna, okay. Maddie's name and information are given over the radio and ran in the system just as Xana and Kaylee's were. So the three people that live in the house that were potentially targeted by Brian were the only girls who were then murdered on 11-13-2022. Okay, so 
if somebody was listening over the radio or something, I then they would know about these girls. I'm trying. I'm still trying to see where she's going with this. Does Brian have a police scanner? Did Brian know anyone that had access to review body cam footage without supplying any information on himself to be able to view such footage undetected? How would Brian know that this would need to be murder or murders that happened really late at night due to people always being over on random nights partying until the wee hours? Yeah, it's really not that hard to get a, like a police scanner or a radio, you know. You can get them on Amazon, eBay, you know. <laughs> and yeah, the, the police, if you're on, you turn it to the same frequency, the, the police would you know, never know who's listening, you know. And if you're studying, especially if you're studying criminology, you would probably know all the, the uh, you know, num this, the code language that the police try and use, you know, and, and what it means. In custody in connection to the November murders of four students attending the University of Idaho. We're going to hear from the police department there this afternoon. All right, again, welcome. If you just joined us now, check out the video. Um, this is going to lead up into the live discussion right now. And that is things surrounding um, what brought Brian to actually Washington. Um, why didn't he go, you know, and study somewhere else? What made him come to Washington? Um, so that's number one. Number two, I think it really needs to be um, talked about that somebody that would be so calculated and planning things needed to know everything about a situation to plan the quote unquote perfect murder. He would have had 10 weeks. He was there, um, you know, at the end of the summer to begin his PhD. 10 officer goes up and, and, you know, says, when we start getting calls and we start getting complaints that your neighbors, like you're disturbing the peace, that's when we have to come out here. Well, I have a paperwork right here. Nobody call. Sorry, I just, I'm skipping ahead to the meat and potatoes, okay? On 1122. <laughs> Nobody called. So, so who's disturbing the peace? Now, you guys can say, Lana, that's really not a big deal. Who cares? Well, then that's fine. You could say it's not, um, but they were literally at that house, August 16th. Then August 21st, Brian gets pulled over in that area. Brian gets pulled over in that area. Okay, so he, Brian could have been, you know, casing it out, stalking him, whatever he was doing. Um, and then he's cited with not a speeding ticket or any type of moving violation. It is for seatbelt. Um, then he doesn't show up. He doesn't show up to court, so failure to appear. So he was cited on the uh, eight twenty one. Yeah, well, that's just uh, that's normal. I mean, he probably could have just paid it. You know, you don't have to show up for a seatbelt ticket. You can just pay the fine. Now, eight twenty two was the first day of school for, you know, Idaho uh, University of Idaho. So do, were people having parties on the twenty first? Um, did Brian know somebody? So he got off on. You know, uh, not getting a ticket, but hey, well, here, I'll just give you this. But more importantly, hey, guys, we have Brian getting pulled over. That means we have body cam of Brian. What car was he in? What type, what type of car was Brian in? Okay. Um, I put in a request. I'm still waiting to get back three requests, um, this being one of them. Uh, was he driving the Elantra? 
was he driving Elantra? So when people want to say, um, what tipped them off to this Elantra and Brian and everything like that, I'm going to tell you what tipped them off from the Elantra and Brian. Him getting pulled over on 821. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. But why didn't why didn't you say this before Brian got arrested, though, you know? If you really thought this, all of this. That's just, that's the one question I would have. Because no one, no one brought up Koberger before he was arrested, you know? I guess he's going back now and, and retracing his steps because now everybody knows. But, you know. And then it being filed on 822. Um... You'd have body cam. So let's hope that they ish, let's hope that they allow the uh, the report to go through. And you know, okay, yep, we're gonna go ahead and let Mr. Ariani, you know, get this. Um. So, so does everybody understand that that body cam footage should show what type of car? Um, well, that's what ho we're hoping that the body cam footage will show that as well as the complete report the report that i have shows let me see what i have Let's see. all right I sorry get guys it. just so you know chat's I, going like wow you got black yeah. right here your complaint information right here it should have all that filled in every report i've i've done has the complaint information okay Good. Is this your place? Yeah. Perfect. You know why we're here? Um, I assume noise. Noise, yeah. Yeah. Big speaker right there? Yeah. Nothing against having a party. Once neighbors start calling in, then we have an issue. Fair. Uh, you go to school? Uh, yeah. Okay. I already saw Did that. nobody called in? We already saw that. Oh. Already saw that. Um... And literally, it's not until they get like to right over here, and then it was shut down. Hey there. <laughs> okay, so, and I, and I know that you guys are saying, okay, so Lana, where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? Where are you going with this? Well, I'm going to tell you where I'm going with this. Here we go. Okay. So tell us. This video is getting long. This, this is the, um, this August 16th. Go watch the whole body cam. This is the trip where the other officer is talking about the back stairs to the top balcony. Okay. Okay. This guy is new. This officer, go back and watch it. This officer is talking to the other guy that will come around and he'll be on this side. He's saying, did you see how I handle it over there? How I just said, like, listen, you two, if I got to come back, you two are the ones that are getting tickets, okay? He's talking to the other guy, asking him if he's doing a good job, yada, yada, yada. Where are you getting with this though? That girl's like, oh shit, I don't want no part of that. <laughs> is this your place, man? Yes, sir. Okay, would you mind going and getting somebody who's placed this? Come on. Okay. I like this channel, but this is why she's doing the lives. Okay? Just it's just for the for the super uh, chat stickers and the money, you know, whatever. So Brian just gets to Washington. 
this house becomes or becomes roommates for the first time um, in this type of a house. People are coming in and out of this house like a revolving door. There's people that come in. Um, for what? I've been saying. These body cam videos tell you everything about these girls' lives. And then the three girls that are the roommates that live in this house, other than Ethan, because he's technically not on this house, not on this lease. The body cams tell you who lives here. And those are the three people. There's Bethany's name's never mentioned and Dylan's name's never mentioned. Who are the three people that get murdered? The three people that talk to the police, the three people that their information goes through a system. Yeah, but I'm sure they didn't talk about where their bedrooms were you know, and all that shit, you know? Their information was went through the, ra the radio, and it also went onto this body cam. Those three. Now... Playing the same thing again. Excuse me? I believe he was effectively exploiting his access for audits to the system by randomly viewing over 8,000 videos. She's talking about one of the police officers that was fired. almost exclusively without cause. This is a serious violation of the privacy of our residents and a, sorry guys, I can't, I can't see half the shit when my phone's so small. Um, uh, this is a serious violation of the privacy of our residents and a, it's all about trust we intended to build with the OPA model of OPA. So, remember, when Koberger was arrested, he said, did you arrest anybody else? <laughs> okay? So, he probably did have some, some kind of help. I guess that's what she's trying to get at here. Oversight said Mayor Lauren McLean. December 9th. Wait, what happened on December 9th? What happened on December 9th? Isn't that Elantra? Elantra talk? He was this dude who had access to be able to watch um, uh, body cam footage, any type of footage that he could get his hands on because he had access to it, okay? Which you're, um, somebody has to do like an internal investigation into that, okay? So that would be internal affairs with the police. I am deeply concerned about the invasion of privacy. This unauthorized surveillance constitutes our residents are often at their most vulnerable when they call the police to intervene when other measures have fallen short without so many words. She's now telling us what he's watching and it's body cam. December 9th, Boise, the mayor sends out for immediate release. Office of the mayor is sending out media release for immediate release December 9th, 2022. Jesus removed as director of the Office of Police Accountability. <coughs> I need to take a, a cheers to myself right. there. Gotta take my vitamins. Throat hurts. <coughs> this is the first membership I've ever bought. Oh, thank you. I feel like we're going See to like I the mean? strip club by a lap dance. Now, See, best part about this report they get, they get paid much, so that. much money for doing all this. On 11 15, on 11 17, 11 18, 11 21, 11 21, 11 22, 12 12. 
on all of those dates right after the murders, mainstream media had had this. As is, how do we know that none of these body cams were watched? Because guess what? They're, that's what they're doing. You have the mayor. Um, go back to it. Sorry, this doesn't make the news because the news has to approve it. Well, guess what? I can approve my own shit. So I'm approving this and I'm going to talk about it. It's like innocent until proven guilty, right? Because that's what I believe in. And um. All right, guys. Go. So, takeaways. Basically, um, there was a policeman watching a whole bunch of footage without permission over 8,000 hours. She's saying uh, Koberger had probably had a police scanner or, or you know, and was listening to, and to all the information that they were talking about. That's how he, he knew the girls' names and all that shit. And she's basically wait, waiting for uh, some, some uh, of the more body cam footage that she requested to come back. So once that comes back, I'll do another video with that body cam and give my opinion on that. But, uh, yeah, this is just a live video and it's just a lot of, uh, you know, filler material. You know, not not, a, you know, not much more information. But uh, I just wanted to let you guys know all that. And uh, until next time, True Crime King. Out.